So as time goes on, different crimes become more apparent in society and the way that the government deals with them is something that we need to be able to evaluate. So if we look at stats from a few years ago and statistics are always a few years behind, we can see that there's been a violent crime rise. Um, murders have gone up, sexual crimes have rose up as well. Um, could it be that during this time there was a slightly better economy than there had been previous to the 2008 crash, therefore more people going out and getting drunk? Um, could it be about more gangs? And we will, of course, look at knife crime as well. With all of this, you've got to remember the purposes of sentencing. Remember, sentencing means punishment. So why do we punish people? It's for deterrence to stop them doing it again, rehabilitation to make them better, protection of the community and reparations to the victims, making it up to them. So we know there's lots of different types of crime and if you just spend a few minutes going through all of those you should be able to give examples of each of those types of crime. Violent crime has gone up recently, not so much with gun crime but with knife crime and if you remember we looked at this in a lot of detail, the vast amount of knife crime offences uh, that have happened and why that may have been. Hate crime has also gone up as well. Post to the Brexit referendum, hate crime rose by a really large percentage. So that's something we need to be aware of as well. If we have a look at this, then it's the background of our offenders, and this is to do with youth crime. And if we have a look, a lot of their crimes are to do with weapons and explosives, which is quite worrying, uh, but also robbery. Robbery is the main one. So again, that could be linked to knife crime as well. And of course, it doesn't fortunately tend to be boys who are getting more in trouble is that that they are joining gangs is it that it's peer pressure is it that they're the ones getting caught so again just to remember on knife crime and there were lots of reasons as to why knife crime had increased if you remember there's 20,000 less police officers on the street than there was 10 years ago there's mass austerity there's all the issues with social services being cut um youth clubs being cut and all of those kind of things stop and searches have gone down by a million as well remember each year so huge issues with knife crime So this is a letter that was ping, penned by um, Theresa May, who used to be Prime Minister and before that she was Home Secretary. And this looks at crime prevention strategies. I'd like you to press pause, have a read of the letter, and then on the next page there's some questions for you to have a look at. OK, there's a couple of issues in there that haven't been mentioned in the letter. So what do you think is a big kind of cause of concern but wasn't mentioned? And the answer is looking at radicalisation. So the government launched a strategy called Prevent and it's about safeguarding people and the communities from the threat of terrorism. So there's lots of different bits to it, but it's mostly to do with trying to find uh, people who may be at risk of becoming radicalised or who already have before an act of terror takes place. And this can be right wing radicalisation as well. So just to be aware that is a strategy the government have come up with. Prevent aims to concentrate on our British values. Can you remember what they are? And here's some exam practice for you. So a two mark question and a one mark question. So you might get asked, has the government done enough to challenge crime in this country? You could argue, yeah, they've put lots of new laws in place. One that you need to be aware of if we're looking at hate crime will be the 2010 Discrimination Act. And you are aware of that already. Mention it as much as you can.
There's lots of new laws being made all the time, particularly on things like internet crime and also to challenge radicalisation like prevent. We've also got lots of new laws in and new programmes within school to tackle radicalisation and also knife crime in the community and in schools. For example, if you remember the police have been in, they've given you lots of talks about knife crime, you learn it through PSHE and also we've even had the knife arches in as well. So you could argue, yeah, they have. However, you could also say, well, no, if you think there's been 20,000 less police on the streets than there was 10 years ago, there are a million less stop and searches than there was 10 years ago. The government really, you could argue, haven't done their bit. And also they're looking at sort of the measures of crime, but they're not really looking at what the cause is of the crime. So mass po poverty and inequality, lots of austerity measures have left the poorest in society far worse off. So you need to look at that angle as well. Well, okay.